Hello, I am Miyoshi Price and I am in the city of Hawaiian Gardens. To just speak to the background, this is a part of my confidence journey as well. <laughs> they lost me at... <laughs> I have been told that they will be meeting on Sauston and Crenshaw and walking throughout the neighborhood. Let's be honest. As a man, you don't want to hear no other man talking about your woman like that. It was kind of disrespectful. She went back into that thing and was like, Amber, you need... Right now I'm standing at the Gardens Casino where you literally can drive up and find yourself receiving multiple boxes of free groceries. I said it, free groceries. As I'm walking around, you see people driving up with smiles on their faces. People are in need. Today there is a food drive in your city. How does this make you feel? I'm very proud that our small community can get together and be able to share the love with our residents because 80% of our population is uh, in the lower income divisions. And during this time, it's this global pandemic and people are in need and you are volunteering. What brought you here today? Honestly, the love for my people and just giving back. All you have to do is literally stand in this line, as you can see behind me, drive up, and they will literally give you boxes of food to accommodate the amount of families you represent. I am sitting here with some teen center representatives. What exactly are y'all doing here today at the food drive? We're here to help out and just participate as well as we can because we're giving out food to so many people today. What? <laughs> you are one of 1,200 families that will be getting free groceries today. How do you feel? Feels great. It shows you the need in the community. Because this community like so many have been devastated, and to see this kind of need and be able to do something to contribute to that need, that's Well, thank you, Mia Christ, and I am here in Los Angeles, standing right now in the epicenter of black culture. It is called the Merck Park. But well, we're doing the right thing. It's our community. We, we love Inglewood. We love our city. We love our state. We love our county. But we're not going to let you kill us. Protests against police brutality and racial injustice continue to proliferate throughout Los Angeles County. In Inglewood, California, the residents are looking to local government to make change in their community. As you can see, the Inglewood mayor is standing with his residents, demonstrating his understanding, but also his compassion for those who have fallen victim to racial injustice and police brutality here in the United States. some words of encouragement and what this means today to his people. For the first time in all the things I've seen, the 92 riots, the Watts riots, the Chicago riots, this is the first time that it captured and galvanized the attention of the world that racism exists in our society to this day and that it must be eradicated forever to progress as a people. In Inglewood, I'm Mia Price. A new study published in Forbes magazine shows that being confident is a choice. Scientists say we can literally rewire our brain in ways that change our self-perception. Joining me to talk about this is confidence coach Chantel Anderson. Hey Chantel! I'm so excited about to talk to you and about that background behind you and just we're gonna have an awesome conversation about confidence but uh, you are exuding it right now. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I mean, this to just speak to the background, this is a part of my confidence journey as well. And so I think we're going to learn so much from you being an, an expert in confidence and coaching and all those things. So this study, it's interesting. Yeah. I mean, they made this statement that confidence is a choice. What are your thoughts yes. about that? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm glad they have a study and evidence to back it up because it absolutely is. You talked about insecurities. What are some insecurities that you see in your, your clients? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> they, we all have the same insecurities. And it's something that a lot of us have to deal with daily. And so I like that you put it out there, like you have to remind yourself and be confident and choose to be confident every time you wake up. I, I, I love it. 
and I received this newsletter and I read it and quote, you said, but more often than not, it's the choice to try, the choice to lean into the fear because you believe the hope that's pulling you towards it and the choice to do the next right thing even if you don't know what comes after that. That's Wait, a, I wrote that? Yes, you did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so it good. Let's be honest. As a man, you don't want to hear no other man talking about your woman like that. It was kind of disrespectful. It was, it no, was no, utterly disrespectful. No, no. It, it was it, flat out disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. But like we were talking about, he wasn't changing from the clan's a community because he thought that being a clansman was like wrong mm -hmm. he was changed because he didn't want to lose his love i think though what mark was doing is taking ownership of like who he is what he wanted and that's what i respected mm, because good. a lot of times when dating you meet someone that might be a little younger than you and then here are all these childish characteristics that you're just like you're not even ready but he was so certain of himself that he yeah. was you know right, right, and right. that's beautiful that's attractive I, but I can see that. there's no reason i mean yes we love the chase and and that's beautiful and all but it's like i mean she, she put him through the ring yeah. she went back into that thing and was like amber you need to know yeah. they're playing their roles to the t and you believe them you know you believe them you're in character with them, you feel them, you even think about them once it's off. You're like, dang, I'm I'm right now thinking how bad Aaron is going to look next season. Cause I really think they're gonna whoop his butt. 